Hello and welcome to Casually Nerds, I'm Cloudos and Brave Frontier Guardians of Lore. You can see I only clicked the top one. But this is actually how I do my Elgis farming right now. Um, yeah, okay, normally. The, this is my team. Um, I can't do an auto battle, I do have the units for it, but I don't have the sphere set up. So, yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. So, I am using a manual method now, and these are my uh, units. So, okay, so why auto have cosmic dust is actually because I use him in my arena, so. I kind of don't want to be bothered about changing the spheres, but you can, and I advise that you do change to something better. So we have uh, Libera for the attack recovery buff, Ruby for SPB. An ally, I normally take an ally with leader skill that uh, that gives attack up. So yeah, Kranz is for the mitigation, also for the elemental change, I don't think it's a lot. So this is basically it. And a fun leader for the spark damage up, also spark vulnerability buff. And a type buff. Uh, basically, you you just want a team that boosts a lot of attack, spark, and not crit though, because the Elgif is immune to critical. Mm, and uh, what else? I think it's immune to critical, immune to. I'm not sure if it's immune to elemental, but. What uh, you want to do here is actually to focus down, so what I'm trying to do is to actually charge the overdrive. As I mentioned earlier, this is not a auto battle method, it's going to be manual, but it will be a quick method actually. So yeah, so we're just going to do it one by one to charge all the SPB and overdrive since I don't have any SPP leader just best to stick to normal attack okay so with this I think my overdrive will be done in the next turn and everybody's uh, SPP is already up Kill that Pokeball. Right, so this tactic is uh, no, it's not really a new tactic, but um, basically it's it comprises of the old kind of how you use the double hard around method to take down bosses. It's kind of like the same, you boost all your attack and then you just normal attack it on. So with this method, uh, you actually need to use uh, Ruby's Overdrive, so you do have to use a Fujin, but Fujin is quite easy to farm if you, you just have to farm on the Mare stage. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to activate Ruby, normal attack my outdoor and everybody else just use SBB. reason why I normally attack outdoor is to conserve his uh, SBB for later use. Oh, I think I hit him too hard. He's gonna use Genocide Tablet. Yeah, <laughs> that was scary. But I think Adaron has the defense up based on health. So right here, basically when he reaches uh, around like 70%, 70 
tablets and 5%. If we use genocide tablet, sometimes they use it three times. I'm not sure if it's just random because <laughs> I experienced three times before, it's really a wipeout, so yeah. So if he crosses a 50% mark, uh, this Elgif will be doing a 2 AV attack, which would instantly wipe out uh, your unit. So he will wipe out two units actually with that attack. But if you have Altar with his unique sphere, you will have the taunt when you cast his SBB, and the unique sphere will proc his angel idol when he hit 20%. It may proc. I say may because. Uh, and what you do is just not like that. Ooh, <laughs> almost two turns. So I said may because, yeah, like just now he didn't proc. I don't know why. So sometimes it procs, sometimes it doesn't proc. I'm not sure if this is a game glitch or maybe his attack just happens too fast that it didn't hit 20% for Hador, for Hador to proc is Angel Idol, so he will kill 2 units, but uh, I got him low enough, so I can actually just, <laughs> just normal attack, uh, I don't even need my crowns. With just 4 units to get, uh, to kill off Algips. So yeah, so I'm currently using this method right now, it's a 2 or 3 turn method. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so we are. Well, I changed the setup a bit. I replaced Alto with Raga, and Raga is actually the leader now instead of Avant. And the ally is an Adore. So, not sure if I can do the Lestra. Uh, the same thing is I would do use uh, Ruby's Overdrive. Cast a van first. That would be so that we got the BP damage. And I think just auto everyone. Okay, um <laughs> so now we normal. And it still could be done with, uh, without using auto. See, <laughs> auto are useless. But uh, yeah. The auto is more for insurance against this 50%, but as I mentioned, it's it's a kind of a give and take. It, it's random, it doesn't happen. I got an int, but uh, no Elgis this time, so yeah, auto is a bit random. Uh, maybe it's because I'm playing on Windows, so the animation happens too fast that uh, the Angel Idol didn't proc. And yeah, I don't know. So this this is an issue where, <laughs> but if it does proc, you will see that uh, Auto will actually absorb both hits, and he will survive. So you would have 6 units still ready to go. So it is a 3 turn kill method, I would say on average, but there are chance, there are times where I could get to turn kill like the first run, just a sliver bit only. So um, well yeah, 
I hope this could uh, this method would help you. If it does, uh, give uh, this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you have friends who are struggling with the Hellgift, uh, do share this video with them. Uh, maybe it would help them as well. So that's it for this video and good luck farming your Hellgifts. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to get my videos as soon <laughs> as to get it latest. So yeah, that's it for today and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.